Hello everyone, Ben Austin here, your new rules golf coach. So we got the U.S. Open going on right now up in Marion, Pennsylvania, which is just a little bit from here in Delaware, and uh, we just got hammered with some rain, so we'll see what happens to the rough up there. But uh, we're going to take a look at Steve Stricker putting here. Um, obviously, with, when picking a, a winner for the Open, that's never an easy task. Um, there's so many great golfers that it's kind of anyone's tournament, but you know, one of the things that's very typical with the U.S. Open is the greens are extremely fast and undulating. So, you know, generally people that have a very good short game, uh, they're going to have a good chance of winning it. And I think with Marion, since the course is not extremely long, if Steve Stricker can keep the ball in play and he can putt to his potential, I think Stricker's going to have a very good chance of, if not winning, at least having a very good finish. So, we're going to take a look at uh, putting stroke here with Stricker. So, got a camera angle that's a little bit off angle, but let's take a look at his posture to start with. So, you can pretty much see from this angle that Steve is pretty bent over when he's setting up. You know, so it's very typical what you'll find in in uh, tour players when they putt. They're not going to be very upright. Um, so he's got a good amount of tilt, and if you take a look at his arms you can see that his arms are pretty bent as well. You know, so his arms are not straight by any means. And that's very good. And if you if you feel like you're struggling with your putting, I would have you copy that because having a little bit of bend in your arms is going to take a good amount of tension out. And tension is never good in a golf swing. So let's take a look at Steve's stroke here. So we're just going to draw a line at the on the shaft here so we can see where he is at address and take a look okay so we can take a look at his backswing here if you watch his hands and his arms you can notice that his hands are not moving and pretty much what he's doing here is he is rotating his chest and his shoulders I would say he probably doesn't have much feel in his hands at this point. And if we draw a line of where the club is on his backswing, it's pretty close. Okay. And let's take a look at Steve's follow through. So you can see at impact, he has brought the shaft right back to where it was at address. And now on his finish. Draw a line there. So you can see a lot of symmetry to Steve's putting stroke. So, you know, his follow through might just be slightly longer than his backswing, um, but that's pretty, pretty typical in good putters. You'll notice that most people, I think when teachers, I think when we see put, people putting in, in lessons, they, have, they generally have a very big backswing and a short follow through or they have a very short backswing and an extremely long follow through. So I would try to copy this to work on your putting. Try to get a little bit of symmetry to your stroke where it's almost feeling 50-50. Um, maybe have just a little bit longer follow through than, than backswing. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, you know, one thing that's interesting about Steve's putting stroke is you don't see this a whole lot with guys on tour. So you take a look at Steve's head. And we draw a little line here. And I just kind of watch his head as he takes a stroke. So his backswing, it's very still, has not moved much. And as he comes forward, you can see he has a free release of his head. So his head has moved with his upper body. And that's very different if you watch somebody like Tiger, who, you know, Tiger, when he hits the ball, his head is going to remain down till the ball is about six or seven feet past so that's kind of unique to Steve stroke he's got a little bit of free release in his head you know and I think what that does is, is it lets his upper body rotate freely doesn't kind of get jammed up so there's a lot of good things in this stroke to copy if you feel like you might be struggling with your putting and you know so Steve's going to be my pick for the week I could be very wrong um, you know like I said you never know who's going to win but we'll see what happens and uh, let's watch some open